Ah, hello everybody. Welcome along. Welcome to, along to my vlog. I'm a traveller. I've been travelling all around Europe and finally found somewhere to stay for a few months. We're just on the edge of the Alps and uh, it's it's a beautiful sunny day. We're into we're in August and uh, yeah, the sun is shining. The birds are birds are flying. Birds are tweeting. And yeah, I've just been into the shops. Um, I got a tip from someone to go and check at the grocery store uh, with regards to jobs jobs and work around here and um, luckily yeah something's come up so the grocery store here has asked us to uh, get some uh, rubbish put away for them they've already got a trailer organized so around the back of the the building here there's some rubbish to take away and they also said we should maybe ask uh, the store just to across here and um, because they've also got some stuff to put away as well so uh, apparently the recycling center is just up the road and um, so it's not too far away so I think what we'll do we'll nip across and we'll go and get our vehicle and uh, we'll get everyone filled up uh, it's a beautiful little town this actually I'll quickly show you there's a lovely market here it's a bit sleepy at the moment it's only 10 o'clock in the morning so um, yeah quite quiet and yeah there's a a train that's a pretty regular service actually it's back and forth all the time so uh, we're quite lucky really um, my plan really is to do as much as we can over the next few months um, I'm gonna spend a spend a few 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 months here and see see what happens and um, there is a guy in the town a guy called Max apparently that kind of is quite the businessman has got quite a lot going on and um, so we need to go and see him at some point um, just so we can get in and see if we can get some work done uh, more work more work done should I say so let's jump in and we'll get into our, our nice VW I think should be able to get out of here no problem and like I said the, the guys at the supermarket said there's something there's a trailer already there uh, behind here um, and yeah hopefully get through and uh, there's a lot of people about in this town actually oh, there we go the petrol petrol pumps there as well so we can use them if we need to fill up but at the moment I've got a full tank of fuel and jobs to do so first up here may as well open the side door got all uh, all mod cons on this uh, EW uh, electric side doors in the works so the guys have already put stuff on here which is good and um, so they said if I could get the rest of this in my van then yeah take it up and yeah they said as payment you can just keep the money for all the rubbish so apparently the the recycling center does pay for it so pay your money for it so let's get all this stuff in here uh, and then yeah we'll uh, see see if we've got any money at the moment I've got no money because I spent all my money on fuel getting here so <laughs> we're kind of uh, a bit up against it just now but hopefully hopefully uh, we'll, we'll do all right I do have some bills coming out later today though so uh, we might actually go into our overdraft in the bank unfortunately but we shall see we shall see Hopefully this uh, this rubbish will give us a bit of cash, and uh, yeah, we won't be too much in debt. I have to put that a little bit further back in there. There we go, and then we can get these boxes in. Can I get two at a time? Nope, just one at a time. Then is whoopsie, rushing things. Yeah, so yeah, I think for me. Um, I'm looking to, yeah, get myself a plot of a little small plot of land, maybe just maybe just rent it. Um, um, there, there is a business opportunity here, specifically in this town. There's quite a lot of uh, undeveloped land, um, and the local council, alongside Max, who's kind of the main sort of landowner and business businessman in the area, um, has given it is uh, put a lot of property up for lease and rent so lands up for lease or rent and yeah there's the opportunity there to yeah take a piece of land and yeah just just develop it whether that's agricultural whether that's a uh, production 
buildings as in factories and uh, various uh, sort of uh, products that we can produce um, yeah it's in entirely up to us really um, but yeah I think as part, part of this uh, vlog um, I'm going to give uh, the viewers the opportunity to decide what I do as well so um, later today we'll we'll have a look at what plots of land are available and then um, if you if you want to leave leave me a comment and on the vlog um, send me a message then yeah we can we can look at fulfilling your wishes so let's jump in here again there we go Get that shut there we go and engine on and let's head down to the recycling center So yeah, we've got a lovely boating lake here as well, just there. And then I think just on the left here is where you can buy equipment and rent equipment. Um, and yeah, there's various places to sell stuff around here as well. So apparently it's down up this road. Okay, up the hill here. I think on the left here there's a... Um, Oh god, I'm struggling a bit with this weight. There's a storage or storage area strokes place to sell a lot of the goods. They basically take the stuff in here and then transport it by the railway. There's not much of a walk. Oh god, there's the train. That was lucky. So yeah, they, there's the, an opportunity to drop stuff off there and then they sell it on behalf of you uh, to various places. Um, so as you can see there's a lot of ground around here that's just not developed at all and I think that's where Max and the local council mayor wants us to just start yeah start bringing some more life into the town so let's uh, just park up here we'll just go and uh, have a chat to the guys here I'll just leave the engine running and yeah we'll see uh, see what uh, what we need to do okay Frank there at the, the recycling centre he's a supervisor today he said yeah they'll take the lot um, just basically got to throw it into this uh, red bin over here so he said jump up onto the ramp and you can throw it in from the top and then uh, yeah uh, he'll pay us for it so that's good he said there's actually quite a lot of a uh, lot of rubbish about the place uh, at the moment so if you do come across anything uh, round and about then he's more than happy to take it off our hands um, he said you might need a, need a bigger trailer though <laughs> so <laughs> it might be an idea to get something a little bit larger because there's some bigger items about as well so I think if we bring ourselves to about here it's probably about right uh, open that up again turn the engine off there we go so he said just throw it in there and then yeah they'll pay us for it so oh, and get all these straps off there we go and yeah just start putting this stuff in here I guess Okay, so we're just coming to the end of all this. So we'll go and see Frank and then see how much uh, money we're going to get for all this. I reckon there's quite a bit here. We've pretty much almost filled this uh, this, uh, this bin up. So fingers crossed. So that's all that in there. So I guess we'll have to go down the ramp. So. I'll go and see Frank and we'll go and see how much it's all worth shall we fantastic so 1689 euros for all that lot so I can't really complain at that that's pretty good so I think um, yeah what we'll do uh, we might nip down to the might nip down to the dealership and see if they've got anything for us um, could be a good idea. I think um, 
would be good to get a bigger trailer than this. Plus, this isn't even ours; it's the the supermarket. So, what we'll do? We'll take this back to the supermarket, I guess, and then yeah, we'll nip across the road to the dealership, and uh, we'll see if they can get us a uh, see if they've got anything cheap. Okay, just find somewhere to park, I guess. I'll just come and park over here. That's fine. There we go. Right. So, we'll go and see what they've got. They seem to have quite a bit of stuff here, actually. A few older tractors. Uh, uh, interesting. It's a nice setup. I know that stuff. That's for. Um, uh, some forestry stuff as well. Right. Let's go and have a look. See if we can uh, see if anyone's about. Uh, we'll see what they can get us. Oh, look at that truck. Looks pretty nice. Sweet. That is pretty blinged out. I like that. Okay, let's go and have a check. Okay, so 1,450 euros later. I don't know whether I've been set up here, but it seemed an okay deal, I guess. Uh, they said, yeah, this train is pretty old, uh, but not a bad capacity. And if you wanted to, the farmer that had it before has used it for animals in the past as well. So, yeah, I'll probably get a couple of sheep in there or something, I guess. But, right, so we'll get in there. And uh, let's get this uh, reversed up. And see see where we end up. Right. Okay. Right. So next place to go is just the building next to the grocery store. And we'll go and see not that one, that's the dairy this one isn't it okay oh, I can see it already there it is oh sorry young man there we go oh just bear with me one second I should turn the camera off cameras off I need to need to chat to on the phone ah okay so the I've just been on the phone and um, actually the grocery store gave Max my number um, so Max has said that he's in at the moment and um, he's quite happy for us to go and uh, chat to him uh, so probably a good idea to go down there and just see see what uh, what the lay of the land literally is and um, so I think yeah I'll just park this out of the way these uh, these guys here seem to be quite interested in uh, my vehicle. <laughs> I'll just park it on the grass over here. Um, there we go. Nice. All right. So I don't know whether I'm going to get these things in there. That's uh, they're pretty big. Uh, but we'll get the planks and we'll get the barrels and the boxes. So we might have to come back for the tires at some point. I might stack them over there out the way or something, nice and neat. Um, but yeah. Right, let's uh, let's nip along here, and uh, we'll go and uh, see uh, see Max, I guess. Just make sure we can cross the road safely. Let's go through the market, shall we? Why not? Oh yeah, I've got a nice uh, basketball courts here as well. Fantastic. Okay. Which uh, not the greatest town for walking about in. There's not many pavements, but that's fine. So, yeah, I'm going here. Uh, better shut the gates after myself, I guess. There you go. Perfect. So, yeah, he's in this building here. So, let's go and have a chat. I'll knock on the door and see what he's got to say. Okay. Had a good chat, actually. He... He is quite the businessman, actually. He obviously owns this uh, lovely place here. They've just had a, um, 
they just about have a, a nice big sit down meal for a lot of dignitaries and stuff so uh, we better better leave them to it but um yeah the he's basically said that he will purchase purchase stuff from us okay so if we have produce and things like that then he's going to buy things off us but the the really interesting thing he's given us a, a land map and um, he's shown us three plots that he thought might be of interest to us um, so this basically there's three plots um, all differing prices a month so it starts at 250 a month and then goes the most expensive plot is a thousand euros a month so yeah it's it's not cheap um, but he did say that the price is based on what's available in the on those uh, those plots of land uh, one of the plots of land actually has a field already with crops in it which should be fantastic so let me just uh, quickly show you the map actually so let me just jump on and uh, we'll just uh, quickly put that up for you so here's the three plots and um, we've got uh, plot A which is sort of closer to the town itself um, and a relatively large plot sort of uh, covers a fair distance um, so for for this plot here this is going to be the sort of the the, the middle priced plot um, so plot A it comes in at 500 uh, euros a month um, and yeah it contains quite a few trees apparently um, and then yeah pretty much nothing else <laughs> but it is quite close to the town so that's quite handy um, plot B uh, which is uh, just in the middle here and um, that slightly longer plot it has half open ground um, ready to put a field in pretty much straight away if I wanted to um, and yeah then a bunch of trees as well um, so a bit of bit of both um, slightly thinner plot but quite centrally located um, so quite handy um, and then the bottom plot plot C is the most expensive so plot sorry plot plot B uh, is 250 euros a month and plot C contains a field um, so we've got a fairly large field. The field in it at the moment has potatoes in it, which is quite interesting. And then it does have a little patch of land above it, uh, which um, at the moment doesn't have much on it, um, but has space for, for to put a shed or, uh, or something like that. Um, so yeah, um, all around the plots, um, there's obviously more ground to be be leased or purchased um, alongside them so there is room to expand so all around the this central area of uh, of this map uh, all these plots are for sale and for use um, to our side um, over here on the the left um, is a sawmill okay and uh, Max did suggest that if you are selling wood there have a chat to them because they might have more work for us as well and um, so Here's the question then. I want you guys to decide for me, um, you the viewers, decide for me which plot am I gonna am I gonna lease? Is it gonna be plot A, which as I said is uh, the middle one at five hundred euros a month, plot B at two hundred and fifty euros a month, and plot C at one thousand euros a month. So you decide. What we'll do we'll go down there and have a quick look and it just so happens I'm a bit more into my technology so we have drones available I do have a small drone that I do fly up and just uh, take some arty shots every now and again so I think what I'll do we'll not we'll not bother just getting this rubbish just now I will come back and collect it a little bit later I think and we'll sell it um, so what I'll do is I think I'll leave our trailer here just now um, so let's just uh, close that up take that off and yeah what we'll do uh, we'll go down and yeah we'll go and have a look at these plots um, once we get off the main road I'll probably yeah get the drone up and then yeah we can have a look at uh, look at all these plots from above and then you can actually see them and see what you think
Okay, so we've seen plot A. This is plot B. It starts here. Um, again, yeah. Lots of trees in here. It kind of stretches along this way, I think, uh, if I remember rightly. Um, all the way along here. And it's marked out by these cones. So if we go down this way. Oh, look at that. There's some junk in here as well. wonder what price we'd get for that. I reckon that's worth quite a bit, you know. Look at that. It's an old, old bus. So yeah, I think it stretches all the way down here. Um, and then out, out this way. And then, yeah, once you come along here, I think we come back on ourselves. And then, again, it comes back up this way. And through all the, the trees here. So there's some nice big trees in this plot, actually. The other plot's got slightly like a more varied forest I suppose there's different trees in it as well so yeah that's not a bad size plot that I quite like that um, and then yeah we'll we'll nip down to the third plot which has got the, the field in it right see you over there okay come across a load more recycling there mattresses in that and all sorts of stuff right okay so that's quite handy to know that's there oh look at this I didn't realize but this comes with a shed as well so this is the field here so as I said looks like potatoes growing nicely in there um, and there is a there is a shed here fantastic so so comes with this shed which looks in pretty good nick actually yeah few bits and bobs hanging about but generally pretty tidy it's good and yeah uh, this is obviously the yard area um, basically just some old concrete and a few rocks poking through still but and then yeah we've got uh, our potato field here which actually is a pretty reasonable size um, so obviously encompasses all this and this is the one that's a thousand a month so obviously we've got a crop ready go ready to go and we'll get a good income from that this year straight off the bat which is great pretty good um and yeah yeah so the boundary pretty much finishes at this field okay so uh yeah so they're the three plots um obviously we saw the first one from an aerial view but um yeah these are um, the first two are fairly similar I suppose they're gonna have to have quite a bit of work to get going and then this one's obviously pretty much I could start farming straight away in it, I guess and um, but we do have the opportunity to maybe purchase some bits and bobs next to it I think these trees may well be ours so we might have a couple of trees that we could maybe use um, but yeah generally it is the field that we're paying for with that so there you go there's definitely some food for thought please let me know um which one you think i should purchase or lease should i say and i think what we'll do um we'll head back up and we'll go and get the rest of this recycling sorted what i might do is i might grab some of this junk down here actually while we're at it nip through the bushes luckily i've got my lift kit on this uh Volkswagen otherwise it would be a a little bit of a challenge to get around here so let's, uh, let's see what we can get in here that's yeah these will fit in won't they yeah fantastic right we'll see you up at the recycling centre I think uh, we'll go and get uh, that stuff from by the the, the other shop and we'll go and get that stuff in there as well um, and yeah we'll see up this right recycling center and see where we're at I will need to find somewhere to sleep tonight um, but uh, yeah I think the next next vlog will probably be a little bit later on today anyway um, and we'll uh, we'll kind of just yeah I'll carry on and yeah we'll get some more recycling done 
Okay, so we've got all the stuff in. Uh, I basically got everything I could apart from the tyres um, from the sporting goods store as well. So we managed to get all that stuff in as well as the barrels that we collected from down near that plot of land. So fair bit in there. So we'll just see how much we get for this as well. And then, yeah, we might finish the vlog after that actually. Um, right, I'm just going to nip down. We'll go and see see the guys down there and uh, let's see what we get fantastic so 1663 for all that this time so the barrels seem to be worth quite a bit of money which is quite nice so that's all that sold so i think what i'll probably try and do is we need to go and get ourselves some sort of um something to sleep in for the night i could sleep in the van i guess couldn't i that's probably the easiest thing i might need to find myself some extra bedding <laughs> don't have much at the moment um, but yeah like I said if you guys could decide which uh, plot we want to lease off Max that would be fantastic and yeah we'll catch you on the next one and um, one thing I would really like to just ask you as well as part of this vlog if you don't some mind uh, hitting that like button or subscribing to the channel that'd be fantastic and again, like I said, leave a comment, hopefully to tell me what I will need to do next. But if you just want to comment in general and say uh, say you're enjoying it, that's no problem at all. And any comments, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But from myself and our next adventure, we will see you on the next one. And take care. All the best.